As requested in this video, I'm going to show you the setup if you would like to connect your Cyanido Live Mix solo or duet for Zoom a conference using a MacBook laptop. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the things, chords uh, we will be needing in the setup. Actually, all of them comes when you buy a live mix solo or duet. So the microphone, condenser microphone, and this cord is the XLR male to female. And we'll be needing also an earphone uh, to monitor the audio. And this adapter, this also comes when you buy that. We will be needing this as well as uh, this uh, cable. So this is USB type A to USB type C. And now let's start the connection. So first, let's connect this XLR condenser microphone. Okay, let's connect this one here. Then the other end to here. And now we will connect this adapter to here, to the one that's for headphone. And then we will connect this earphone. But if you have another headphone, at your house, of course, you can use it as well. Okay, there we go. And now, the last cord we will connect is this one. Again, this is USB Type-C to USB Type-A. Now the Type-C, very self-explanatory also, connected to here, to the one that says USB-C, and the Type-A we will connect it to the USB port of this laptop. Okay, there you go. I have made this connection possible with the use of the black hole, which is a virtual audio driver that allows application to pass audio to other application, like bringing the audio vocal from Cyanido Live Mix solo or duet with the effects from the GarageBand as well as audio playing from a YouTube video to Zoom meeting and at the same time you can monitor the audio as well do is you're going to search the black hole so even a type in black hole audio this should come up and once you open this black hole audio then you should see something like this so from here you have to enter your email first name last name and you have to select subscribe for free could be Mac or Windows whatever laptop you are uh, you are using because this is the only way uh, you will be able to download the black hole and uh, it will be emailed to you the link will be emailed to you and then you will open that uh, link uh, to get on to this one on here so something like that so from here you would have to select whatever you wanted to download black hole to channel or 16 or 64 so for me I selected the middle one the black hole 16 channel and uh, just uh, from there just to follow the prompt so that was something like that and once this one is open so it should look like that and just hit continue continue follow the prompt and you should be able to uh, download the black hole now after you downloaded black hole audio so go on here tap the go and then go to utilities and then open audio midi setup Okay, so if your download is successful, you should be able to see black hole on here, but if it's not there, that means you have to uh, download it again. Okay, and now from here, you have to uh, scroll down over here, the one that has a plus sign. Okay, and first I created uh, aggregate device. Okay, and once you selected that, this will pop up over here, so what I want is I wanted uh, to use uh, the the audio coming out from this laptop including the microphone I'm using which is this one connected to the live mix solo so first I will connect I will select that there you go and then I will also want to use the uh, the the background music that I will be playing from here and that is why I will be using the black hole Somehow that is the one hel is helping me to, to work this out. So anyway, um, so that's, uh, that uh, should be uh, the setting. So again, just to double check, your clock source here has to be uh, Cyanido Live Mix Solo. And uh, just make sure both of them are uh, the same uh, sample rate, because if you accidentally change this one to the other one, they will it will not work. They have to be the same uh, sample rate uh, for them to work. And after that, so that is my aggregate device. And now I will tap the plus sign again. This time I am going to create multi-output device. 
So this one I have to do so that the audio coming out from this laptop, that is my, my source, will come out to, let's say, uh, streaming, let's say, a Zoom meeting. So it will come out over there, and at the same time, I will hear it also using this earphone over here. So I can monitor also the audio. So as you notice, um, it checkmarked automatic the built-in output, so I will uncheck that one. I will not be using that. Instead, the first one here I will be selecting is the black hole. So that should be my first, uh, my first option to be uh, selected because that's how it's going to work. If you select the first one, then I don't know if it will work. But anyway, this is the one that works for me, my, which might work for you as well. Okay, and so after that, black hole you selected and then select sign you to live mix because again i will be using the microphone from here uh, connected to the sign needle so again just to double check make sure sample rate are the same for both of them so even if you click over here uh, if you go to output and then 4100 and also if you select sign needle output 4100 so they're the same so you're good same with the aggregate one uh, okay, so here Cyanido is 41 as your input, so 4100, and as well as the black hole 4100. So you're all good. Okay, so from here you're all you're all set. Again, make sure your master device here for the multi output device is set to black hole. Anyway, whatever you click first here, that is your your master device. Okay, if I'm going to uncheck this one. Let's say, for example, you selected Cyanido first and then Black Hole. Uh, so automatically, the first one you click is your master device. But again, we will not be doing that. We want the Black Hole to be our master device. There you go. And then the Cyanido Live Mix as next. That is for our multi-output device. And now we're all set from here. We can X out from here. Let's close everything. There you go. Okay, and now let's open the garage band. So we can just open it from there and then just type in garage and it should open. Okay, there you go. So from here, open empty project. And from here, just double check uh, Sanido Live Mix as your input, and your output has to be the multi output device. Because when you click that, there should be options here. Make sure it's selected to multi output device. Same with your input, your options here, make sure it's, uh, it's set to Sanido Live Mix Solo. And let's uh, uh, tap choose. Okay, so from here, make sure this one is a check mark. I want to hear my instrument as I play and record. And let's tap create. Okay, so uh, from here, tap the garage band up there. The word says garage band and open preferences. Okay, so from here, go to audio slash MIDI. And again, make sure your output device is set to MIDI output device and your input is set to Sine to Live Mix. Okay, we're good there. And now, so it's up to you now to set your your reverberation how much reverb or echo you want to use and by the way before we continue on here let's go to our settings the sound settings okay so open sound we have to make sure our output is set to okay should be, there should be option here is set to multi output device again this should be our output and then the input what i did is i selected the aggregate device. There should be Cyanido here also, but I selected the, so Cyanido Mix Solo, but I selected the aggregate device. Okay, and let's get out from here. Okay, so let's continue over here. Now you can put on your, your headset so you can check uh, how loud your, your vocals and with the reverberation or effects you wanted to add on it. From here, before I add some effects, what I'll do is I'm going to open now my Zoom. So I'm going to start a meeting now over here. Okay, there I am. And uh, from here, what I will do is I'm going to go to um, video settings and then open audio. 
And from here, just make sure your microphone is set to black holes. As you can see, it's uh, picking up my vocal sound check, testing one, two. If it's not uh, doing like that, then you have to redo everything uh, for this to work. Okay, and your speaker is set to uh, live mix uh, solo. And it's up to you here if you want to use stereo audio. And uh, now we're all set on here, so I'm gonna close this out. I'm going to turn on my, uh, so it says the original sound for a musician. I'm going to turn it on. Do I'm just gonna record this, uh, this uh, Zoom meeting or conference so that I can share also to you the actual audio output from this uh, conference or meeting. Now I'm going to invite this phone here as my participant. So to do that, you just uh, click the participant over there and invite. Okay, and then the join, the meeting code is right there. So I'm going to join now, I'm going to enter that. And the password is just down here. And continue. Okay, so I'm going to X out now from here. Okay, so here I'm just going to select Wi-Fi or cellular. Recording in progress. Okay. Okay, there you go. So again, this is now the participant and this is, so this is the participant and this is the host. Okay, let me put on just maybe one of this one. Sound, sound check, test, test one, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So right, so right now, now I can, I can hear, hear double, double audio, audio that is because, because this, phone this phone here is a condenser microphone, microphone which, which pick, pick up, up little, little noises. noises. So, so I, I can hear the, the, the the audio coming the, out uh, the, from this uh, from this uh, phone here as my participant. But, uh, now to show you if uh, the audio here is being picked up by this participant over here. Let me turn on the volume on here. Okay, sound check, sound check. testing one two. one, two. There you go. So there as you, you know, notice, the audio from the here audio is coming is out coming to out. this uh, phone here as my here participant. As my participant. Now, if I'm going to open, open a, a, a a karaoke song from YouTube. Let's check if it will come out also to your participant. Okay, let's open a YouTube song from here. Okay, let's play this one. Okay, there you go. So as you notice, this... Uh, okay, so as you notice, the background music here from YouTube does come out to the participant's uh, phone or, or it could be whatever they're using. Okay, so now if uh, we're going to add some effects or reverberation to the vocals, okay, so from here you can even uh, turn your reverb up from here, something like that, and plus, maybe I'm just going to set it to 50% or maybe right like that, and then if you open the plugin, over there there is also this master echo maybe put a little bit of that and then master reverb something like that but again uh, it's up to you whatever is your preference and plus if you open the master tab right there okay so from here it's up to you if you want to turn on the limiter okay so if you do that and then so the limiter is right there and turn it on there you go. So it's now on. And you can also set what limit you want to, to set it. Uh, so that when you, let's say, uh, singing a higher pitch, it will not go over that limit. Let's say here, I'm only setting it to 2 dB. Okay. And also, maybe let me just lower this one for now. And also, from here, once you selected master, now if you're going to click the effects on here, you also have this one, the master echo. So you can still, from here, you can still adjust your your echo or reverberation. So, okay, let me just put on my headset. I'm going to check. Sound check, Sound check. testing, testing one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two three, 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 four. four. Okay, okay so, so now, now what, what I will, I will do, do, because, because I, can I can hear here. also, also this, this phone, phone here, here as, my as my participant. My participant. I'm, I'm going to place, place this one, one at my, uh, at my window, window so that, so that I, will I will not hear, hear a double, a double audio. audio. 
Now, as you notice, uh, this is now my participant. I just placed my other phone on my window. And um, so from here, I notice I don't hear my, uh, I don't hear the reverberation effect now from uh, the audio that I'm hearing. So if that happens, what I suggest is go back to the GarageBand right there on top, the one that says GarageBand, and then open the preferences again. And then it's like resetting it. So tap the multi-output device and then it'll reset it. And also the sign it live mix just to be in a safe side. There you go. And once you do that, you will hear again the settings you have made from this uh, garage band. Now what I will do is uh, I will open again that background music that I showed you earlier, the karaoke song. And by the way, I uh, forgot to show you over here, my microphone, I set it to 50% and the monitor, I only set it to 50% as well. And here I just set the monitor, I just set it to mix the one at the middle. And now let me show you a short sample if you will be uh, singing on Zoom. To control the volume of your background music, so it's uh, from here, you can, you can control it inside the YouTube itself, so the one down below. Okay, let's maybe check again how loud is the uh, how loud is the uh, background music? Okay, so it sounds like it's not loud enough. There you go. I think that should be good. A long and lasting love. Not many people find it, but those who do. Okay, there you go. And uh, let me just show you quickly. If, for example, you want uh, to add more uh, reverberation, what will happen? Okay, let's add some more from here. Sound check. Testing one, two. Or if you do not want to do that, if you don't want to use that, you can also go back here to the one that I showed you, master, and then effects, and then you will see this one. Okay, let's uh, sound check. Testing one, two or the time sound check testing one two and the master echo is over here sound check testing one two but again it's all up to you play around whatever uh, you think is the best uh, audio output uh, for you okay so let's go to track go back to track and then so again it's up to you there are some more effects here that you can do you can even Turn on your compressor here if you would like. And here, the low, mid, and high, you can feel free to uh, change them as you like. And so something like that, whatever you prefer. Okay, let's go back to uh, our uh, background uh, music. Okay, let's open that and let's open our background music. Okay, and now let me do a short uh, sample again. Uh, this time I added a little bit more echo. and lasting love not many people find it but those who do their whole life through put their heart and soul behind it long and lasting love okay there you go and uh, that's how it is anyway if you miss uh, maybe some part of the setup and this might won't work so i suggest go over it again remove everything and then uh, and then uh, reset everything okay and uh, let me just okay so let's go back here i'm just gonna turn off my reverberation Okay, there you go. Sound check. Okay, so my vocals is now flat again. And there you go. That is all I can share for today. I hope this video gives you an idea on the settings, the setup, and uh, how you connect uh, your GarageBand to a Zoom meeting with the effects on it connected to this live mix solo. Thanks again guys for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of video, so please consider subscribing if you haven't done yet and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.